Hi everyone. Um, this is size 10 grub hook and thread I'm using is block 8 o. So just start below the eye, touch and turn. And just waste piece. All the way. The material I'm going to be using is a natural quill, strip quill, and uh, this is a pearl, ice blue pearl, uh, medium size. So I'm going to catch. both of them at the same time take your time and use touch and turn all the way Now, I'm just going to go once more just to shape up the body, give a tiny um, tapered shape. <coughs> your flush I'm going to leave a little gap in this and then catch it gently cut this piece off Just a couple of half hitch to secure this. Before you go any further, a very thin coat of UV varnish before you bring your quill. Now, gently cover all this empty space and we come through these gaps and catch it a few times and just give it a quick blast of UV so they won't go all over and I'm going to work with the head now right um, I'm using a kind of grass olive type of spawn flex for the cheeks. So if you go around the thread, catch them in the bottom, if you turn, bring both of the cheeks back. Stretch. Secure these 
and make sure they're sitting on both sides. Now, on top of the head, I'm going to be using this red holographic tinsel. Again, you can do your own size. I'm using medium again. So if you just put it on the top and catch it, make sure it's sitting in the middle, which is it. And work with your head. Now here, what you have to do is bring your both spawn flea uh, cheeks forward but don't stretch them just loosen them up so they can be you know looping backward so you represent the nice cheeks that's better and then I'm gonna cut this off very closely both of them I'm gonna pick this hook upward so I can get <coughs> my hand around and then your holographic tinsel a couple of turn and just cut this from the side from the head I basically whip finish. So yeah, that's that looks fine. And uh, I'm just gonna check this side of cheek. Okay. Now um, I'll use a uh, olive permanent marker on the cheeks. It brings out a very nice color. and add a little bit red underneath where the curve is just to give a red hot spot and now the main thing is a varnish basically I'm using a UV resin but take your time with this because like I say have to make a nice and neat head now once you're done the cure it quickly right underneath See when you put underneath, just put very thin, keep the shape. You need a bulky head, but the underneath of the head, we need nice and thin varnish. So there we have a nice blue quill buzzer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.